Okay. Let's get back to it. This was a prosperous mining town. Thanks. Thank you for the insight. I feel like I know so much now that I talk to you. Maybe I... To have snow every day. Well, I like walked sideways into this house. Gerdus lives in the western mine. I hear he keeps a talking lion. Thank you. Thank you so bloody much. That was important. I mean, if I didn't know he lives in the western mine, I'd be wandering around looking for him here, and that wouldn't do me any good, really, and blah blah blah. This is a tiny little town that has snow every day and tragic music and. It's just so sad, really. Is there anything else happening in this town? No. Nothing else happening in this town. He dared us is in the western mine. Alright, so it's time for me to go get Cody. That's one step closer to being able to load state and having super overpowered characters to work with, which would be fun. Spectors. Not fun. He's in the western mine. The western mine is really far to the south. I think. I might find out in like two or three steps that I'm going the entirely wrong way. Yes. Oh wait, no, here it is. The Western Line. Alpen Shrine? Am I going on a line to Alpen guys? To the roller coaster that may or may not still exist at Bush Gardens Williamsburg? Let's find out together, folks. You know, the really great thing about this game is that you get to, um, walk around in lots of caves and fight bosses and homicrews and stuff. There was a Custero only path over there. I might go back over there later. I might not. I don't even care about the treasure chest because like I said, I got a load state on a game where I didn't bother to get half of them anyway. This is not a game where you get really neat stuff in treasure chests. You tend to get, you know, antidotes and telepos and whatever other nonsense that you don't care about, really. You know, the Bad Bad Cave had, uh, um, little bridges like that, but it also seemed to have, like, a hidden set of paths that I couldn't get to, and I'm not seeing that here, which is fine. I don't want to spend any more time in the and shrine than I have to. Oh, no, armors. I'm scared. Oh, look, see? Hidden paths. I mean, what the heck is going on with this? Are there big, fat chunks of this game that I'm not seeing because I'm not going through the hidden paths? There's a rat tail. That's exactly the kind of crap treasure I was talking about before. And there's a door that I'm probably supposed to go through to get to Gyarados. Gyarados is the master of a circus. He lives in a mine. He makes people into talking lions. Which doesn't really seem that terribly safe to me. Like, if you're gonna turn people into lions, aren't you really gonna, like, freaking kill you? You know, with lion power? These are all interesting questions. Questions that deserve thoughtful answers. Got the power can. I don't think I got the power can before. I wonder if the power can is any good. Power can is... Well, it's better than holy can. Holy can! You went out too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? But now I got power can, so... Gas dragon. Gas dragons are really irritating in Final Fantasy because they have a spell that can kill your entire party. Gas dragons in this game are one of many, many enemies that I just run away from because I can't be bothered. Uh, I'm not. Oh, come on. Three ice bears. You ice bears live in a mine where there is no ice. Even though there is ice in the nearby town where you should be killing everyone. And then running in fear from the smoke monster that also lives in this mine because you are a lost reference. Lost on my audience, ho ho. Cat boo. Cat boo boo. Cat boo blue gas. I should not have frame skipped there. Cat boo appears to be getting more and more powerful every time I fight him. Alright, this time let's watch closely as we 
we fight Capu. Sharp hit. Yeah, see, wasn't that worth watching, folks? Yeah, this should be Gar Gyarados' hideout if I can take two steps without being attacked. Yes, definitely. We're talking serious Gyarados around here. Look at the scary walls. That's evidence of Gyarados. See? Look. The walls are scary. Hey, 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 you kids are finally here. I've been waiting. Now Gyarados will seal your fateful doom. But the rock says, you know your role, and Gyarados will seal your fateful doom. The ray is going to defeat Gyarados. But not by using any of his spells, because his spells suck. I guess I'll use Superpower Fire to finish this quickly. This level of mute to hopefully mute him. Because if he's third level mute, it means an entire party. There's no point in doing that. Nothing happened. That's probably going to be a waste of magic trying to do that. But I read somewhere you're supposed to mute Gyarados, makes it a lot easier. Probably this battle's going to be really easy anyway because I'm over leveled. But it'd be fun to have him be helpless before we kill him. Nobody can stop Gyarados from talking. Gyarados has the gift of gab. That's how he was able to successfully run an illusory circus. I'm just wondering if it's even possible to mute him. Evade 3 didn't work on Tina. I don't know what the heck Evade does, but I have a feeling it wasn't going to be good if it worked. See, that time I made a sound effect and still nothing happened. Nothing that wasn't a sound effect happened. Oh, uh, you know what? Forget muting him. We're just gonna slow him down. All you do is slow me down. I'm trying to the other side of town. Come on, Gyarados, you're taking like 100 hit points a turn damage from this fire. Why aren't you dead yet? Circus. And the Avatar's gonna run out of magic, but, you know, I gave Gyarados isn't really close to being dead. I, I severely overestimated, or underestimated Gyarados' awesome power. Look, he has a whip and everything, and he's dead. <laughs> Established that the snow had anything to do with him. <sighs> Fine. We rescued a town from inclement weather. Truly, we are the greatest heroes in the history of the land. And here's the line of Cody. This is one of our friends. He's been turned into gold? <laughs> what? Let's take him anyway. Sell him. Let's put him at the front entrance of our Chinese restaurant. Okay, so now we have Lion Cody. Aren't you glad? Now we have random monsters trapped in a dragon. It's nice that our... See, look, he's being dragged along. He's not moving his legs. It's nice that our ability to, um... run away from monsters is not impeded by the fact that we're carrying around a golden lion statue. Now the people are free to walk around. But they won't bother because we've already established where the no grown-ups are out even though it is warm, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Wait, so I don't believe it. Well, on that screwed up line, I'm going to call this one a video, so we'll see you next time when we rescue Gold Magic.